A rational function is a ratio of two polynomials. Here we've got a quadratic on the top and a cubic in the denominator. Many rational functions you'll encounter have polynomials which can be factored to reveal their characteristics. Rational functions are different from other kinds of functions. Many functions can accept any real number for x and produce a corresponding y value. These functions can accept all real numbers as input. But for rational functions, there are often excluded values for x. These x values don't produce a y value for the function. There are two types of excluded values we'll explore. Let's start with a simpler rational function, y equals 5 over x minus 3. There is an excluded value here. What is it? If we substitute 3 for x, we get 3 minus 3 in the denominator, which is 0. What's 5 over 0? That's undefined. We can't substitute 3 for x in this function and get a defined result. So 3 is the excluded value. The reason is that an x of 3 results in division by 0. How does that impact the graph of this function? If we substitute x values that are close to 3, like 3.1, we get a large positive y value of 50. The same is true when we substitute 2.9. We get a large negative y value of negative 50. The closer we get to 3, the larger the y values this function returns. We can see this in the graph of y equals 5 over x minus 3. There is no y value for an x value of 3, but the graph balloons to infinity for x values close to 3. You might recognize this feature as a vertical asymptote. You'll see these frequently when graphing rational functions. Remember, if a value results in division by 0, it's an excluded value and it results in a vertical asymptote for the graph. This is the first type of excluded value we sometimes see. So what's the other type? This rational function will demonstrate it. Can you think of a value for x that might be excluded? What value of x would make x plus 5 equal 0? Negative 5. But something very strange happens when we substitute negative 5 for x. We get 0 in the numerator and in the denominator. What is 0 over 0? It's also undefined. So negative 5 is an example of the second type of excluded value. How does this type of excluded value impact the function? If we factor the numerator and denominator of this rational function, we can cancel x plus 5. So this function simplifies to y equals 2, but we can't forget our excluded value of negative 5. The graph of y equals 2 is a horizontal line, but at the x value of negative 5, we graph a hole, an open circle, because negative 5 is an excluded value. Remember, if an x value results in 0 over 0, it's an excluded value, which results in a hole in the graph. This hole is called a removable discontinuity. Factoring and canceling often means we have a removable discontinuity. This is our second type of excluded value. Let's practice finding excluded values. y equals 10 over x squared plus x minus 6. Can you factor the denominator? x plus 3 times x minus 2. Can you see the excluded values? What would make the denominator 0? Negative 3 and 2. What kind of excluded values are these? They result in division by 0 without canceling any factors. So in the graph, these excluded values give us vertical asymptotes. How about this one? y equals 6x squared minus 24x over 2x minus 8. Let's factor the numerator and denominator. What's the excluded value? 4. What kind? 4 gives us 0 over 0, so 4 results in a removable discontinuity in the graph. And here we can cancel. So we just graph y equals 3x, a line. But we have to graph a removable discontinuity at the x value of 4. In summary, rational functions often have one or both of these two types of excluded values. Division by 0 results in a vertical asymptote, while 0 over 0 gives us a removable discontinuity. Factoring and canceling will help you find and identify each type of excluded value correctly.